Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Well, as we move ever closer to Christmas, it's only literally days away until that very, very special big day, which all of us hold dear and close in our hearts. Christmas and all of its emotions. Yeah, absolutely. Christmas is full of emotions. I'm 30 years of age and you know what? Sometimes I can be sat there watching a Christmas film or I can be reminiscing over a magical Christmas memory. And in one second, I can be full of smiles and a grin as big as anything. And then the next second, I can be in floods of tears. Most of my Christmas memories include always my family together or spending a certain day with such, a, uh, such and such a member and then with my dear Nan. And yeah, Christmas has always been a very, very special and a magical time for me. And I've been blessed in this life. I truly have by the Lord above. My Nan now she is also with the Lord above. She's also with me in heart always, and she washes over me always. It's hard to think that she's no longer here. I lost my nan on the 31st of May, 2021. But you know what? Christmas has always been such a magical time, and it's strange how different thoughts bring back different emotions. Some thoughts bring back laughter and I laugh about different times we've shared with my nan and sometimes I cry. Christmas for me and my family uh, is always very, very special. And as I say to anybody, Christmas is perfect, not because of the gifts around the tree, not because of the beautiful decorations or the amazing tree, but because of the people who you share it with and who is around your Christmas table. Nan for me, my mum's mum, my mum and dad are my best friends. They're, they're my whole life. And as I say in this life, the blessing for me was almost that, that God had gifted me. In fact, not almost, but did gift me with three parents, my mum, my dad and my nan. She's no longer here. Doesn't mean to say that Christmas isn't magical and special, but it does mean that there is a, a place in my heart which yearns for her, the smile, the warm hug, the gift under the tree signed from nan. But you know what most of all I miss is the Christmas card from Nan. And you know what, it's only been two years and it's still so, so soon. But not just Nan, who my heart breaks for at Christmas time. I was only one when my grandfather died, my Nan's husband. And I know so much and I love him so much through my mum and my Nan. And yet this year has been 29 years on the 16th of December. Do you know what, to add further to that heartbreak, my aunt, my mum's sister, my nan and granddad's daughter, she would have only have been 59 and it would have been her birthday on the 9th of December. She was so much like my mum and all of them together. Honestly, it must be such a blast up in heaven. It must be such a party with my nan and my grandfather and my auntie and my uncle, again, my mother's brother. It's hard. Christmas brings back so many emotions, so many memories, and not just of sorrow, bereavement and sadness and heartbreak. But of course, it also brings connections closer, friends who haven't spoke for such a long time or have had differences in families. They seem to mend. They seem to resolve around the Christmas season. Christmas is a magical time. And a quote from my most favourite Christmas film is miracles happen every day. I let that lead to your imagination which Christmas film that comes from. My nan was always the matriarch and is and always will remain of our family. And without her, there will always be a place in my heart which is spare and breaks for her for Christmas. But however, I also hold in thought that she's always with me. She's always right here. Someone once said when I first lost my nan that you've only got to close your eyes and she's right there with you. And I know with faith and of being of faith that She's up there, and she's with the Lord above, and she's with me always. Christmas can be a very emotional time, and it's full of emotions. Nana was used to say that Christmas brings joys and sorrows. She always used to love Christmas. And I love Christmas, and so does everybody else in my family. My mum, my dad, my brothers, my nieces, nephews. Christmas is very, very powerful. For example, if you're on your own at Christmas, like me, for example, I'm 30 years of age and it makes me think when I watch all these amazing Christmas films with the romance and the beauty and the wonder, that you know what, I don't have my wife at the moment on my arm, 
I don't have that beautiful wife to dance with in that beautiful Christmas film of my own, that beautiful story of my own. I don't have children yet, but I have nieces and nephews who I love and adore. It also makes me think of friends which I haven't caught up with and friends I've lost connections with. Christmas truly is emotional, and if you sit too long and think about it, it can sometimes turn quite sad. But when that happens to me, what I always try to do is to try to think of just how blessed I am. Just how blessed I am in this life that, do you know what, number one, my mum and my dad, my mum and my dad, I've been gifted with the most amazing parents, best friends. My dear nan, that third person on that parent table, is always going to be my nan, for all eternity and more. My brothers are mine, my sister-in-law is only at the end of the phone, and my brother's fiancé is there to talk all night if I need to. I've got the most beautiful nieces and nephews, and I love and adore, two of which I don't see. But they're always in my heart, and they're always in my prayers, every single day. The Lord has gifted me of a path which I'm always forever grateful, and I cherish. Even the difficult times of my life, I hold and I capture, and I believe that they're a step to where I'm heading in this life. And that will lead to success. But let me remind you, my friends, that the journey has to be treasured, because sometimes the journey is far more special than the end goal. Now, Christmas is the amazing, magical piece in the puzzle of life each year. And as each season comes around, I always look forward to Christmas. And yes, it may be full of emotions, but it's full of wonder, it's full of magic. And you know what? Most of the emotions are incredible, they're fun, they're amazing, they're loved, they're cherished and they're treasured. And you know what? That little bit of sadness and that little bit of thoughtfulness and that longing for Christmas is long ago makes it all the more magical because they're right here and here. Christmas is a beautiful time of year. Yes, it stirs a lot of emotions. But let me just take a moment to just reminisce for a little moment more. Do you know what? There is only one of you in wonderful and wonderful this world. There's only one of you. Okay. You've got so many, so many incredible memories, and they're yours. So whenever you're having a down moment or a sad time over this Christmas, or you're full of emotion, think that all the Christmases you've enjoyed so far, and God willing, all the Christmases you've been blessed with, hopefully to come, they're going to be yours, no one else. And with that note, how are you going to spend it? There's a couple of days before Christmas yet. Try and make it magical. Try and make it memorable. If you want to say something to somebody, if you want to share something with somebody, if you want a gift, a gift, it doesn't even have to cost a penny. I always say, if you want to give somebody something, it doesn't have to cost anything at all. Even if you have nothing, you have something to give. That's love, that's patience, that's care, consideration, time. Just giving somebody your time means the world in this life. It really does. No matter how old, no matter what somebody's going through, if you've got the time to share, then share it. Because memories are magical. They're the things you always hold on to. Gifts are amazing, of course they are. They absolutely, truly are, and they make Christmas. We all run down in the morning to the tree and with gifts and we share happy, happy memories. And hopefully we do, but there's spare thought for those who are not such in a blessed position and won't have those memories to treasure. Let's think a little bit more. Let's give a little more this Christmas season. Because as I say, if you've got nothing, you've still got something to give. And you may be thinking, what a silly thing, Bradley. How can I? Well, if you pass on the street, sometimes just a simple hello can mean the world to somebody. Just holding the door, acknowledging that somebody is a person in this fallen world can mean everything this season. So as you're busy wrapping your gifts and running around for those last minute things at Christmas or those last minute extras or doing your grocery shopping or one thing or another to make your Christmas magical, just think sometimes holding that door or doing that kind gesture for somebody or simply saying hello or good morning or good afternoon can mean the world to somebody. Acknowledging somebody as a person, acknowledging somebody, lifting them from them spirit, their spirits, a smile, a hello, a goodbye. It acknowledges that person is equal to you. And remember, there's only one of you in this amazing world and you are amazing and you are a gift to this world. And so are they. So treat people equally this Christmas season. Open your hearts a little bit more. Remember, Christmas is full of emotion. So never, ever judge walking past somebody on the street if somebody's looking unhappy or somebody's looking down in the dumps. Because Christmas can be full of joys and sorrows, just as Nan said. Somebody could be reminiscing over a difficult time. Somebody could be going through one right now. Or somebody could be having the time of their lives. 
It's important that we take time just to acknowledge the fact that everybody is going through something. And this Christmas season, although it be special and magical, it is full of emotion. God bless and take great care. And until next time, just take care of yourself, take care of your friends, your loved ones, and just hold the nearest and dearest as close as possible can, and that you can to your heart. Because you know what? Life is tough, life is difficult, and Christmas is here. So let's relax. We've worked hard all year. Let's enjoy it. But let's just be a little bit more considerate. Let's open our hearts a little extra. And let's share the cheer, the merriment, and the love. Because yes, this is an amazing time. But it's also for them, it's also full of emotions as well. God bless. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you then. If you don't catch me for another clip, Happy Christmas, a very, very Merry Christmas to you, and I wish you a wonderful, happy 2024 to come. God bless, and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.